Coming up this week on The Choice. Really, it's a Gemsbuck tail from Africa. <laughs> and I brought it here because I, I wanted to make sure that I shot a bigger bearded gobbler than Vicky. Really bigger than anybody in this world. <laughs> but we're going to set this up. Is that a good beard? Oh, my. Beard. I tell you Look at the spurs. You want to get the tape measure and measure it? Yeah, here. Here, let's go get take that tape measure measure. <laughs> <laughs> the choice begins right now. Welcome to this week's choice. In this week's choice, Ralph and hi, I'm Vicky. <laughs> We're going turkey hunting, one of our favorite pastimes in the spring. Absolutely. Well, what are you doing? Nothing. You know, I can't leave you alone for two minutes. Now you're set up in our living room again. Well, yeah, I'm practicing. Yeah, I'm I see that. I see you have a big turkey on the TV, and you've got your crossbow. And Ralph, people must people are going to think that there's got something him. wrong with you if they don't already think you're wrong. You're sitting in a ground blind in the living room Here, with a, Vic, I with, show with you a Hunter I Ann like Dow. To doing to Victor. Oh! Hey, you this get week's into show. My hunt. Oh my god. We're gosh. going turkey hunting. I hate you. That wasn't good. Uh, this week's show, we're going turkey hunting with Hoppy Kempfer down in Osceola Outfitters. Don't forget the, luck, the sponsor's lucky logo. It's the Hoyt Deer Head. I'm, uh. <laughs> I gotta go fix something. <laughs> We're set up, just kind of hunkered tight here, a little more shade than our first setup. We're going to sit a while, see what happens if nothing's going on, then we're going to, um, I believe, go gator hunting or hawk hunting or something else. It's kind of fun down here. There's a bird coming. Get ready, it's running this way. Oh, even or not. Run, Hoppy, run. How close does he need to be? Can I take him? No, he's Can only, I take him out there or no? He's only 30 yards. I wasn't sure. Man, that's how quick it can happen. I pick up my glasses and it's a long beard and he's trotting this way. He's cool, cool, cool. So I run back. You said and there, get you him. saw one come running. You came running. We were impressed. <laughs> <laughs> so this okay. is a pretty special day though. Yeah, yeah. The, this uh, shotgun belongs to. Uh, Obviously, it's not Ralph and Vicky's, <laughs> but uh, it belongs to a, a gentleman by the name of Mitch Enzer. And Mitch was just here on a hunt with me. He is a severely disabled hunter, mm -hmm. and uh, he's been diagnosed with ALS, which is Lou Gehrig's disease. Right. And he actually, he along with some other guys uh, from Realtree, David Blanton, and them were here, forgot his gun here. And Chuck or uh, Mitch called me and asked me to ship it to right. him. What we decided to do uh, for Mitch, for you, Mitch, yes, was to take your shotgun without <laughs> you knowing it. Yeah, thanks, and Mitch. And your shells. <laughs> and Vicky just shot her bird with your gun. Thanks, Mitch. <laughs> and now wow. guess who's up, Mitch? 
Ralph's Ralphie. Ralphie. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> they it was running. really fast. That one was like running down the road. Yeah. I'm getting to the hen first. And then he just walks by us. He's and on that he walked by right really there. close to us. Oh, look at them spurs. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nice, Beautiful beard. one. Look at him. Here, give me the you gun. I'll carry the gun. Okay. <laughs> this is what this is what everybody comes to Florida to get is these guys right here. <laughs> Look at the size of those spurs. <laughs> <laughs> They're huge. Can't imagine getting poked with one of those. Something. Yeah, he's got a nice beard on him too. He's got a ten inch beard. Nine and a half, ten inch beard. Beautiful pretty, bird. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Beautiful bird. Mitch, thank you so much for leaving your gun behind and <laughs> I guess I owe you one now. <laughs> and uh, Hoppy, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right in the neck. I got him. Hey Vic, congratulations. And Mitch, thanks for letting Vicky use your gun. She needed it. And you don't want to go anywhere because we're gonna see if Ralph can actually hit a turkey because he can't even hit it on the TV. What are you talking? Oh, you moved it now. Come on. Welcome back to The Choice, and Vic, really, congratulations. Needed the shotgun, didn't you? <laughs> okay, now listen, girls, what I need you to do is I need you to, you know, sort of dress up, look a little sexy, go out there and coax that big guy in for me. Just, so just like this. Vicky Hoppy and I really wanted Mitch to get Captain Hook, but we'll see what happens. It's about 35 yards. Mitch, <clears throat> we got Captain Hook, Hook, buddy, for you and with your shotgun. <laughs> Hop, we did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Old girl. Thank you, Hazel. <laughs> You're sick, Ralph. <laughs> you are sick. Oh, my gosh. That's a big bird. Let's see what he's got. What he's got. He's a heavy bird, bud. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I gotta show Vicky this. Uh. <laughs> I beat her, Hop. I beat her, Hop. Let me show you, Vic. Those spurs. <laughs> Captain Hook, I thought I had one spur. <laughs> Captain Hook. He grew another one overnight. Let you show you. How you knew it was Captain Hook? Well, I, we named him Captain Hook because when he come by Mitch the other day, all I could see was one big spur. But the way we knew this turkey was if you look, it almost looks like he's got a Jake fan. See here? Yep. He's has stages. He's got stages. He's got a. He's, he's got really a, got an ugly tail fan. I mean, it's just jagged. But what an incredible turkey! He feel looks like he's probably a twenty pounder which is pretty big. He's been strutting pretty good. Definitely a four-year-old. Now look at the difference between like Vicky's wingtips. I mean, these are way worn more. 
than hers. <laughs> Just quit trying to make it better, Ralph. <laughs> Take your time. You got them. Yay! It is fun, this see? It's kind of fun. It yeah. is, see? Ralph, congrats. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, you did great. Mitch, thanks for letting us use your gun. Yeah, Happy, buddy, thank, thank you, you always. And now, you don't want to go anywhere because we're going to try to head to South Dakota and try for Miriam on the Rosebud Reservation. Rosebud. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Rosebud. This is supposed to be for RJ. Yeah, but he won't know. He's at school. Try another one. Welcome back to the Choice. Well, you saw that we got our Osceola's down in, Flo <sighs> down in Florida. I got such a headache. And now we're going to head to South Dakota, the Rosebud plant Reservation. We're going to go after our Merriams and see if we can't get one that... I got a head. What are you doing? Nothing. We tried to do something different and we put the wireless mic on the pole in our decoy and this Jake comes by and he like starts pick, pecking at him and then he steals our $600 mic. Needless to say we had to chase after him and that sort of wrecked the hunt for the rest of the day. If you wanted to beat up the boy, it was okay. But you know what? You don't pick on the girls. That was the end of it. <laughs> Hazel, I had to protect you. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're here on the Rosebud. You saw we had to have 40, 40, wouldn't you say, at least? Oh, well, we had more than that. At least 40 oh, Merriam turkeys around here. They do have, I mean, there's definitely a Merriam. He's got a nice white, whiter tail feather there. And, uh, they came in, they flew off the roost. We saw them fly up into that ponderosa pine up there last night, the couple of them over there, loading down. It looked like a Christmas tree with ornaments on it. That was fun. He's not the biggest bird, that's for sure, that I've ever shot, but that was fun. That was kind of like revenge. <laughs> hey, that's a beautiful bird. It really is. And you know, it's always about the story and the adventure, and this is one turkey hunt I am never going to forget, ever. Don't go away. Vicki just proved to me that we better not mess with the girls because uh, she takes that pretty serious. But it's my turn next, so we'll see what happens. Hey, Vic. Got a headache?
Welcome back to The Choice. Napoleon, I hope you can understand. It's all about the girls, and I was just protecting your girlfriend. <laughs> Let's see how well Ralph can protect the decoys. Sorry, Napoleon. It's okay, Hazel. Okay, so all I have to do out of all this list is beat 13.900 spurs and a 2.75 inch beard. It will never happen. That's it. It will never happen. I got my faith. I got yeah, faith on your brother. Go get her done now, okay? All I want, all I'm asking for, Vicky shot a Jake and he had two and a three quarter inch beard. That's it. Two and three quarter inch and his spurs well. I saw hey, I saw ladybugs bigger. Watch it, buddy. Watch it. So right now, any bird that comes in with over a two and three quarter inch beard, <laughs> I'm trying for. We got him. There's Napoleon and Hazel worked again. He come right off this hill. He came right down and he, he stayed. I don't know, Vic, you see him where he was staying behind Napoleon all the time. Yep. And then all of a sudden he came around. I hit him here and we just saw him take off. The arrow went completely through him. So I'm thinking it went. Whoa. This is so cool. South Dakota, I believe that. Well, I know he's a Jake but he had a longer beard than Vicky's. Hers was two and three quarter inches and a lot of people are going. Yeah, but mine was jumping on top of the decoy, yours didn't. Well, I tried to preserve the decoy. It doesn't work that way. I saved the decoy, nice Vicky. Try. Right here. <laughs> oh, there he is, come on. Well, we did it. The big test now is seeing whose bird weighs more, whose bird has the longest beard. Mine will definitely weigh more than yours. I don't think so. I think so. Nope. Yeah. No way. Yeah. I can tell you right now, this one's heavier. 15-2. 15-2. Okay, so one pound heavier than me. Excuse me, 15-2. Oh Lord, if you're gonna ever do anything for me, do it right now. Oh, it ain't even gonna be close there, girlfriend. I could have told you that out there. <laughs> Three point seven five. Okay, so you're one inch long. One and inch. One pound. One woo, pound. Woo, woo, woo. Do you need to be on a chair? Fifteen three, right? Fifteen two. It was fifteen three. Two. Fifteen. Two. Two. Eight. Zero, zero. You zero, got no spurs on zero. that Zero. And then three point. I could go three and, yeah, it's up there doing. Nice job. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's The Choice. You know, and we want to thank a lot of different people for all these adventures. That's right. We want to thank Mitch for letting us use his gun. We want to thank Hoppy for letting us come down there and yeah, that's the right. outfitters. We want to thank Buyers Media for inviting us out to South Thanks, Dakota. Thanks, guys. And, of course, we want to thank the Rosebud Reservation. You know, it's incredible hunting there in South Dakota, you know what I mean? It really was. And you know what? Hmm. If you happen to see the Hoyt Lucky logo, well, then you need to log on to thechoicetv.com. 
and let us know what you thought and someone's going to win a new Hoyt. So we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. Hey. Hey Vic, do I have to wait till springtime or uh, what do you think? You know what, you're just a big turkey. <laughs>